Welcome to a very, very, very like really twisted history of a school right here behind me. Doors have been slammed. People have been even chased out of this building. There is a rumor that if your energy is upbeat, it actually will attract the spirits in here. Welcome, baby. <laughs> here we go again. We're going to try and not provoke them, but try to get them to come out and talk and maybe play with us tonight. Hey, it's Michael. All three are on, all three are on right there. What's up everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Second of all, welcome to a very, very, very like really twisted history of a school right here behind me is the Westwood School located in Northwestern Ohio. Now I'm not gonna take much of your time, but all I'm gonna tell you is the story keeps on being raveled basically. It's all unraveling right here and all of the teams that are going in here and investigating are finding out more and more and more through spirit box sessions, things that are happening, doors have been slammed, people have been even chased out of this building and I cannot wait. I'm kind of like nervous, I'm nervously talking, I'm upbeat and positive about this. Now, there is a rumor that if your energy is upbeat, it actually will attract the spirits in here. So that's what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be talking to them a lot. We're going to try and not provoke them, but try to get them to come out and talk and maybe play with us tonight. So without any further ado, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I love y'all so much. Let's get going, because it's cold outside. Dylan and I, we're, we're about to go through here. It is freezing. So uh, shout out to everybody who lives in Ohio because um, you all know how to weather the cold. Us people from Delaware, we don't have a clue what we're doing here. But anyway, I wanted to give you all a brief synopsis and history of this place right here behind me. Now, this was actually turned into apartments uh, not long ago, and it was vacated due to some code violations or something along those lines. But um, the, the, the residents that were here particularly weren't maybe the most favorable residents to have renting um, some apartments. Um, there was some shady type of stuff that was going on in some of them, and, and the one has a really, really weird story. This little girl and her mom were living in this apartment, like, kind of like a studio apartment, and every single apartment has a big chalkboard on the wall from the school. Now, she actually, before they left one day, the little girl goes up to the chalkboard, and she had this invisible friend, and he was an older gentleman, and um, she went up to the chalkboard and drew a circle, with a line straight down and then her mom was like come on we gotta leave so they go out they run do their errands they come back now when they come back in the mom notices that there is now legs and arms drawn on that body that she was about to draw which creeps me out so there's a lot of different things if you all can pay attention in the background of this video if you see anything or hear anything comment below and let me know and uh, this is kind of like the creepy apartment areas back through here. And this is actually where, um, we're, we're, we're actually just gonna jump straight into this, where the really, really, really weird things happen are right back here in this room. And um, every investigator who has come through here, a ton of psychics have actually come in this room and have said like, this is some bad juju in here. So I just want to open it up by saying, Welcome, baby. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Every <Sorry>. time. <laughs> this is, listen, sometimes it pisses them off. Sometimes it makes them happy. I'm going to sing. All right. No, I'm just kidding. For headphone users, sorry about that. But on, on a much more serious note, like you can see, like, some tenants don't particularly take care of property the way that they should have. And uh, this is a prime example right here. What the hell? Okay. Very weird. Good grief, this carpet is dirty. Has an old bulletin board there. Really old. <laughs> Son. 
thunder out. Wow. Did I miss a door? No. Okay. I'm, I'm all turned around right here. Goodness gracious. This person had a full on Las Vegas luxury suite. Oh, damn. Gosh. Oh, my. They had a garden hose. Okay, maybe these weren't luxury apartments. There's still soap in here. Dylan, I'll give you a grand right now if you brush your teeth with that. A grand. That's 1,000. 1,000. You won't do it. <laughs> You're damn right I won't do it. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like your toothbrush now. Do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Do it. Not. Just put it in your mouth for one second. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just do this. Just be like, just be like. <laughs> yeah. Not. It's probably not a good move to put on okay, camera. Yeah. <laughs> you said a grand? Okay. Hello? Hello? If there's any spirits up here, can you make that noise again for us? Keep your camera facing that way. Dude, you know what it actually, you know, I don't, I don't know if, hang on, I don't know if this makes a noise or not, but it almost sounded. No. Do they creak? Yeah, that's, I don't know. Is it maybe the wood settling? I don't know. I mean, we're a brick building. I don't think the wood's going to settle. Yeah, I don't know. A damn chicken. Oh gosh, his butt's open or something. Okay. You have butt choking your chicken? Yeah, you did. That brings the whole meaning to it. Oh my gosh, dude. You open it. Open it. Mm. Oh. That does not smell good. Hell no, it don't smell good. <sighs> Bro, that was gross. All right, so up here, everybody, is a door. That door right there is notoriously slammed. Um, almost everybody who comes in here has pretty much like either heard that or witnessed that door slam. So I'm just gonna try something, Don. We're gonna stay very still. If there's a spirit here with us, can you close that door or open that door for us? Oh gosh! <laughs> Charlotte's web. I got a little flashlight if you want to knock it down. Yeah, knock it down for me. Here we go. Don't tell payroll. Knock cobwebs down. What are you doing? Trying to win something at the fair? What is? What are you doing? I'm trying to get all over my hands. You're <laughs> everywhere but the spider web. Right yeah, now he's gonna crawl on me. Oh, dude, oh, there's one going across. Get that one. Look at my flashlight. Well, it's going to look worse. Get that other one up there. Where is it? Right it's there? straight up. See it? Like, with, no, no, no. Straight up, like right there. Oh, oh, okay. I see it. Oh, how much water here? I'm not worried about that one. Look. All right. Oh, God, please, spiders. 
They have poison spiders in Ohio? Yeah. Uh, this is really, really not a big room. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. All right, bye, have fun. Yeah, see you later, John. Dylan, if I get stuck in a concrete room and die, I will haunt you forever. What is out here? Let me turn my main light on here for y'all folks. Whoa. This is the auditorium right here. Ooh. That's a small little hole to put you out there. Was that you? Huh? Was that you? Is what me? Sounded like a knock. Was that you? Like, did you bump into something? I bumped into something like maybe 10, 15 seconds ago. Yes. Maybe that was it. I don't. That was just like a click. Let's see if my clumsy ass can get down this ladder. Trying to give off good energy. But there's like a knock and then a click almost like that door seat in itself. Like somebody push it. Well there's there's wood against it. Oh. Hello? Jail or something right there. Wait, why does jail have to be in school? I don't know what I'm thinking. It's too cold. My brain doesn't work when it's cold. I'm utterly confused. Are we, is the leak from the ceiling feeding into this, filling up the tank of the toilet and then being able to use it? <laughs> I don't know. What in the Sussex County is that? <laughs> <laughs> Empty room. Not a chalkboard. Huh. <clears throat> this is very confusing. 
layout of a school. Where the hell does this room go to? Oh, all right, so everybody, this is the portal room. This is, the, this is believed to have a portal. Now, the portal, from what everyone says, goes straight up all the way down to the basement. Um, I don't really know the area of where we're at on the school as far as like what side, like the west, north, east, south side of the school. But that there is an area where there is a portal. So again, we're, we're just trying to show you all kind of like the, the hot spots of the areas. And then we're going to come back, bring all the tools, and we're going to investigate. So that's the name of the game right now. All right, so this is the other side of the second floor here. And this is where things are going to take a little bit of a creepy turn, I would hate to say. Right in here. This is one of the rooms that the spirit of the chalk man is at. So this is a little weird, obviously. Um, but, you know, just think about this as like a studio apartment. A young girl and her, you know, her mother were living in here. I think it would be really cool to have an awesome chalkboard. But, um, so basically, if something along these lines. So they drew a circle, or she drew a circle like this, and then just straight down. Now, something drew the arms and legs and the eyes and all of that. Not this exact one, but something very similar. Now also, in this room, the mother was standing in this corner. And uh, the light right above the left of Dylan's head where he was just standing, that one right there, shining on that wall, that one kept you know, flicking on and off. But the light switch is right there. And there is actual footage. If I get that footage or obtain that footage, I'll put it in this video, but if not, um, again, this is just what the mother was experiencing. Write your name. So that was flickering on and off, on and off, on and off, but the other lights were completely off. So it's kind of like the studio type of lighting. But I mean, I can't imagine, like, you're not seeing this go up and down, up and down, up and down, but just one light is coming on and off. That's a, uh... so Dylan, that's a good idea you just did, dude. Let's see if anything draws anything on what Dylan just did. So he drew a circle with a line straight down. We'll come back to it with that red piece of chalk right there, right? Yep. Cool. Right there. Awesome. Whoa, that's a big mirror. Whoa. It's like one of those dance mirrors that you watch yourself dance in. What kind of school would you go to? I you go to dance yeah. school? No. Don't lie like, to me, Dylan. In college, I was uh -huh. in like music fraternity. Looks like somebody else tried to do the same thing, similar, even with the hangman thing. All right, well, let's keep on moving forward here. And there is, um, there's apartments all over, and they're built through here, and this is a... <laughs> Whoa! I just bitched out for no reason. Jeez, pause it. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Now this is what you call a studio apartment. With a painted chalkboard. It's weird. I, I don't know why, I don't get a good vibe from this room for some reason. All right, well, let's keep going on. Four plus four is eight, that's correct. Four plus three is seven. Four plus two is six. What? This is like the psychedelic room. It's purple. Gosh. Jeez. Okay. That says go home, get out, and then no stay. This one says get out or else. I think this might just be people being a little stupid trying to draw yeah. and like scare other people really.
Okay, so I was just over there taking a pee around the corner, and when I did, I heard a car crash literally happen. Now, the weird part about it is it's off in the distance somewhere, but we're in the middle of cornfields right now. So as you can see with this Google Map aerial view, when we zoom out, there's nothing around us whatsoever. But the theories online a lot about what haunts this school is not only like the janitor that was here and some kids that unfortunately had some really, really terrible abuse problems here, but there is car accidents at this T intersection right here, or this just four-way intersection right here. But there was a car accident I could hear way off in the distance. Tires locked up, squealing, and then pow! So I'm hoping everybody's all right. There is sirens in the distance. Um, this is all just kind of accumulated over like a two or three minute period, which is kind of crazy. But it's off in that distance there, which I believe is west. So I don't know. But that, that was genuinely weird. And the articles online say that there's car accidents that happen here. People have been uh, deceased, unfortunately. And this is kind of where they go. So... I don't know we're gonna find out tonight with all the spirit boxes that we're gonna be running we have a ton of stuff sirens in the distance let's get going okay so dylan and i are up here in um the chalk man room now you're probably wondering what device that i'm holding in my hand um one of the friends in the paranormal field austin actually builds advanced ghost boxes they're not spirit boxes so it's a little bit different of a method um, same thing, um, it, it, it reads through all of what is trying to be said, but it clears it up a lot and it uses less energy on the ghost side to transmit what they want to be told. Now this is just a power bank that this is plugged into, it does run off of a 9 volt and this power bank at the same time. So I am going to go ahead and um, this thing is pretty much tuned in, I'm going to raise the antenna. And this here, I need you all to pay close attention. We're going to get some answers tonight, I'm hoping. But if you hear anything in the background, please comment below. Let me know whatever you all hear at home. I'm turning your light on now. We'll go completely infrared. Oh my gosh, it's the dark. I feel like there's something inside of me. Chalkman, are you with us? That's me. With you guys, in person. What's your, what's your name? What's your name? Speak really clear for me if you can. What's your name? Stand up. Do you want me to stand up? Are there any other spirits in this room? Talk to me, what's your name? Were, were you killed inside this building? Here.
Can you speak to us? It literally sounded like somebody like Yeah. Like we'll try this in the hallway. Let's leave our uh we're gonna leave our two cases, our XA eleven and our paranormal gear right there. But let's go into let's go into this room. This is uh This is supposed to be the crucifix room. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right up here, the power supply, and I'm gonna put this here. You can go ahead and turn your light out here if you want. Followed me? Followed you? Or, or did we follow you? Leave? You want us to leave this room or the property? I feel really uneasy right now. I don't know why. I feel like something's right next to him. Yeah, I think something's like behind me. I, 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 I just, I, I'm tensing up for. I don't know why. Is there something right next to us? I said yes. What, what's your name? Are you standing by the window? How far do I got to the window? Okay, here you go. Did something bad happen in this room? Just tell us. You can be honest with us. Did you just walk by CJ? I haven't felt like nothing like that in years. Is the window closed? Can you turn the light on really quick? Did the breeze just come through the window maybe? I'm just... Light's coming. Window is shut. That thing didn't open up, but this is... Now that's a breeze. What I felt was like this way, not that way. Alright, let's kill the light, let's go infrared again. Hey, can you can you tell us your name? I really I wanna know your name. Like officially who's here with us. I'm trying to give off some good energy, like an Eddie Murphy energy. Hey, it's Michael. Hey, it's Michael? Yeah. Okay, hey, thanks. This is good, that good energy it brings out. What'd that say? Michael, are you standing right beside me right now? Kill you? Who 
killed who? You gonna kill us? Do it now. What the hell? Painful? Kill him? Who are you trying to kill? Two people. What the f***, man? You and I? No. I'm just saying, like... Keep listening. Cut. Do you want to cut us? There ain't no f***ing knife in here, is there? I said, yeah. Who's that mirror, though? On the wall. On the wall. Where the f is that wall? Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. I, I got chills all down my body. I'm trying to be positive here, right? but this is really f hard. On the wall? There's a, there's a screw? Uh, is there anything on the board? Is there anything over here? Do you want me to stop touching your chalkboard? What if I put my finger in your eye? <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Can you tell me what this is I'm touching right now? Maybe I wanted to hear eyeball. You all comment below if that's what we just heard, because that was. I thought it said eyebrow, like right above it. Uh, either way, that's way too that's close weird. for comfort. It's like really cold over here. Yes, oh, dude, I, I'm telling you, I, I feel Jeez. something over there. Alright. I'm going to turn off different. That's weird. That is very strange. All right, so this right here, I just turned this on. I'm hoping this would maybe go off in this room. I personally feel negative energy in this room. Now, this is an advanced EMF mirror. Um, this came... Maybe the floor creaked? Could be. Okay. Um, this came from a company. I covered the logo up. Um, I'm, I'm going to try this thing out. Uh, it's It says it works less than a normal EMF. So I'm gonna just show you. We've got all of our goods here right over here. Now the biggest difference in this versus your normal EMF meter is anything can pretty much make this go off. If uh, you know there's power lines or power in the walls or whatever this can go off. This thing here, this measures energy and frequency combined for an EMF. So um, yeah, this is gonna be kind of crazy. I'm gonna just gonna show you all um, how easy these can go off, right? So like if I were to, see if my Apple Watch will make it go off. Um, I'm gonna just send a text message to Dylan really quick, just to, just to show you all. Um, There we go. So, I was like, mm, <laughs> this is going to go off. So yeah, this this will, when I tap my phone on this or get near this, this will go off. So I'm going to turn that off. Now, this thing is on the on position. I'm going to go by this. This device will not go off. This takes a massive amount of frequency and energy in order to go off. So I'm hoping, I personally feel just drained in this room. So what we're gonna do is we are going to set up one of our cameras and I'm just gonna set this right there and hopefully that goes off. And again, it's on in the on position um, so you all can see nothing will make this thing go off. My Apple Watch will not make this thing go off. So what I read online, this thing is advanced as it gets. So if this thing were to go off, which hopefully it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. It's the first time using it. We'll see. So we're going to set that up in this room and then we're going to continue on exploring. So let's go ahead. Dylan, does this thing got a battery and memory card? 
Uh, I don't know about a battery. I have memory cards on me, though. Uh, no battery. So, I'll tell you what. Um, leave your camera here. Okay. Put it right here. Alright. So, should we put the spirit box over there, too? We can. Alright. It's kind of far. Do you want to, like, maybe... Yeah, move it, move it in. Let's, uh... Because that way it can pick up some... Um, I'm moving back. That's too close. So let's see if this makes it go off. Let me just turn the volume up here. Not even that'll make it go off. That's crazy. Let's take this with us. You hold this. Right. Let's take this with us. Alright, if there's any spirits in here, you can come up and use your energy and frequency. You can use your energy and frequency to touch this, make this go off somehow. I probably just wasted my money on that, but yeah. we'll find out. All right, you, are you nervous, sir? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, damn. All right. I don't like to open this thing. I like that you're holding it. Yeah, turn it turn, turn down. Yeah. Turn, no, no, not that one. Yo, it lit up. It lit up. It lit up. It went off. What was, was it? Was the green light? What was the green light on? Yeah, it was a green light. Did it beep or something too? What the? If you're here in this room, can can you do that again, please? Can you can you go up and touch the device? Was that that device that did that noise or no? I think. I mean, I don't think it's this. Turn that back on real quick. Are you here in this room with us right now? Here. No. I, I thought I said here. I heard a note too. Me too. All right, we're... There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Walk, walk that way, walk that way. I just want to make sure that's not messing with it. There's no way, because I just put it up against it. Yo, it's going off, it's beeping, it's beeping. No, no, go back that way, it's going down again. Go back that way, just stay back that way. Can you turn that on again for me? Can you, can you go up and touch that device? Oh, it's beeping again, Dylan. Can you touch that device for me again, please? Alright, I'm gonna walk away. Maybe just leave it. I don't know. That's. Oh! All three are on. All three are on right there. Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave. Say something in that spirit box right there. Tell us to leave, maybe. That's going off. Up here. After you. After you? You want me to leave? After you? Okay, well, I'll leave then. Oh, 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 it's going down. Start. It's going back up now. It's going back up. Alright, now I'm gonna leave. What the hell? Let's just let that camera record in there. And let's go into this other room and let's just do a spirit box in here. Because this room creeps me out a little bit. Alright, if you're 
If you're the one that told us to leave, we're gonna turn this in infrared mode, okay? And we, we wanna get some info from you. I'm, I've got good energy. This is Yeah. Oh, great, hang on, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. All right. Um, good energy, man. Good energy. A happy day. A happy day. I don't know. This is stupid. Um, oh, gosh. Were you killed here by chance? By, or are you trying to kill us with a knife earlier? Say something. You can say anything you want. <coughs> oh. All right. Let me uh, stay the light on. Let me. Turn this out of infrared mode. Okay. Let's uh hold on a second. Yeah, all the lights are on right now. It's like it's toying with us. It wants us to go see it, and then it wants to turn it off. It's like a game. What the hell? That's weird as f Okay. Oh, shit. That was my flashlight in my back pocket right here. That is at the wall. This device right here, <clears throat> two nights ago, Dylan and I used it um, just briefly. We didn't really know how to, like, uh, officially, like, it kind of sounds stupid because it's just got a f***ing on switch, but yeah. like we thought it was going to be like more complex. The same thing with the EMF, maybe just turn it on. And we tried to briefly use it the other night, and it would not go off. Like we were like... I was in the stairwell. What the f***? I was in the stairwell. Turn that down for just a second. Could that have been that door 
on the second floor at the very end of the hallway down there, like on the other end of the building. It could be. But what we would have heard it that way too. Yeah. Never mind. It literally sounds right here. I'll tell you what, let's go down one floor. I'm gonna go over to here. I'm gonna speak to whatever is in this room toying with it and tell them we're gonna go away. If you wanna keep on, you know, keep on touching that device or something, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's, we need to be positive. So let me be positive here. All right, it's off now. Hey there, if you're in this room still, oh God, I just got a bad feeling. I don't know why I just got a bad feeling, but I did get a bad feeling. If you're in this room here, you, you can stay in here, feel free. We're not here to make you mad or piss you off or anything, but we're, we're okay. That, yep, just let it be. Okay, I think it thinks I'm pissing it off or something. That is weird as hell. So to clarify, we tried using the device the other night. I had no idea like how this was supposed to work. So I called the company up that like just flip the on switch on and let it roll. And, and that's exactly what we did. And, and nothing's happening. Um, the EMF, small EMF was going off like crazy. So. I'm interested to see if we put that in a different room, what it does. Yeah. So the company was telling me that um, all you have to do is just turn it on, leave it, ask questions. Same thing with a normal EMF. You walk around with that thing too. Okay, that just went off. You walk around with that device. But we didn't fully like set up a camera with it staring at the device. So when we did walk away the other night, it could have actually gone off. But I thought that little beep would be like way louder. Yeah. I don't know. That's f that's crazy. Alright, let's let that spirit box turn that on. Alright, if there's any spirits in here, I'm gonna let you guide us. Which way do you want us to go? Forward, left, or right? It's not like right? Forward, left, or right? Which way? West. West. I don't know which way west is. I don't have a compass. Which way is west? Forward, left, or right? Right. It keep, I keep on hearing right. Okay. What do you want to show me in here? Anything in particular? Wall. Well, there's three, four walls. You want me to keep on walking? Go, you want me, which way do you want me to go? Left, straight? That is weird. I, I don't know, this is really weird actually. Turn that off for a second. I don't know. Let's go move that thing to a different room. Let's just see if it goes off in a different room. All right, so we are now in what I would call the crucifix room. I just wanted to try something out. I'm going, oh gosh, that device is not going to. All right, so the device is on. Uh, you probably see some of the little and interior lights on, but the device is on. So Dylan, let's go ahead. Um, yours is gonna be in infrared mode, right? Yeah. Let's set it on top of these cases here, facing towards it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's put it right down there. All right, if anything's in this room or maybe attached to that crucifix right here, this crucifix right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch that, okay? If, 
If you are attached or around this crucifix, I want I want you to make that thing go off for us if you can, please. My friend Dylan and I are in here and the hell is that? Is that a chicken? What the hell is that? Oh gosh. What the hell is that? Is that the wasp? Dude, if I get stung, I'll go to the hospital. Oh, dude. So turn that up. Let's uh Can you make this device go off right here for me, please? Never. Why never? Scared. I'm scared or you're scared. We're not scared, we're, we're happy. It's really cold. My fingers are freezing. Two, two what? Two people like me and Dylan? Huh? What? Yeah, no, I can see my breath too. He? All right, let, let's get down to the brass tacks of things here. What is your name? We want to know a significant name, and are you attached to that crucifix there? I don't feel any energy in this room, but let's just leave that thing running. Let's keep on going. Yeah, let's go into the portal room. Hey, turn that down for a second. So, one of just, this place has a really, really dark history. The, something I'm about to tell you is probably going to disturb a lot of you, just as it disturbed me when I learned this news. Um, the, the portal that I talked about earlier in the video. Right over here. This is a portal. And you're, you're wondering why... And I wondered why too. And unfortunately, we were told that um, there were uh, children with special needs. And I guess some of the teachers were maybe not the nicest. Clearly not the nicest if this actually happened, which there are a ton of stories about. But right over here used to be a closet that was enclosed. Now, obviously, they've tore it down since then, trying to turn this into an apartment. Well, this was one of the apartments that people felt really, really uneasy in. And I think one of the reasons is there could be a portal here, but one of the reasons is that they would take um, some of the um, unfortunately um, mentally handicapped people and with people with special needs and put them in the closet. And it was just hell for them. I mean, I, I, I literally cannot for the life of me process why you would do that. Why, what sick would put a kid with special needs in a closet and, and lock them in there for punishment. That makes no sense. That drives me up the wall. Like, so I guess what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn off the light because if there is someone in here that would like to talk, unfortunately I think light kind of scares them away, but we're gonna try this method out. I'm gonna use the necrophonic and I'm just gonna see what happens. So we'll leave that blank, but um, yeah, it's this this whole entire feeling in here for all of you watching at home. Th this isn't like your normal like, ooh, it's scary in here. This is just it's it's draining, depressing because I think it's because we know what happened in here, so like we instantly feel like that should be the way we feel. But like, it's it's like as soon as you walk in the door, it's just like, damn. Right. So I don't know, but let's go ahead. Let's fire up the necrophonic app here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light off, and uh, we're gonna switch the light off as well. All right, so uh, infrared mode, turn that light off. There we go. 
Gosh, damn, bro. I do not like this. Are there any spirits in here that had something bad happen to them? What's your name? Michael. We got Michael. Did we get Michael early? We did. Down in Chalkman's room. Michael, are you Chalkman or were you a student? Are you a student here, yes or no? Hello? I'm gonna turn the spirit box back on. This is terrifying. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm, I know there's a doorway somewhere right over here, but I can't see. No, no, no. I'm like freaking out. Was that the door? Because that's the door that we were talking about earlier that slams. If it's the hallway. You got your phone? Yeah. Actually, you stay right here. I'm gonna use my phone. I'm gonna go over to that door really quick. Please turn my freaking flashlight on. <sighs> Alright, stay right here. Nah, bro, the door's wide open. What was that? No clue. Hello? What the f***? Can you make that noise again? CJ. What? After you said hello, there was something over here. Something over here? Where? Like in the corner of the closet. In the corner of the closet? Hey, and it literally sounded like I heard something like move and then I heard a whisper and I'm not, I don't like this. Cause you said- All right, let's, let's do this. All right. If there's any spirits here with us right now, can you make a noise for us, please? Can you make a noise? Can you do anything, please? Which way are you so I can come towards you? Hello? Which way are you at? Can I can I come towards you? I'm going to stand right here in the hallway. You just make a noise for me, please. Hello?
Can you make one more noise for me? Let me know which direction you're in. It's almost like it's like not toying with us, but kind of toying with us. I don't know. Uh, whatever, like, literally, after you said Oh, hello, shit, it like, got dark. After you said hello, the first time I saw this, like, hey, it was a word, and then something moved. And now, like, Bro, that's like, now I don't like that. How dangerous is it to stand in a portal? What the? F Dude, that was, that was like the whole building just shook. Yeah. Right after you guys, how dangerous is it to stay in the portal? I got chills all over my body right now. For all of you watching at home, replay that noise because that was like the whole building. It was like almost like a metal, like. If there's a spirit here with us, can can um, can you maybe give us a, a really clear EVP? Maybe come over here and talk into the camera, or come over here somewhere, please. I'm gonna turn this back on. Dylan, if you can, move to the right over here. Yeah, so face the face away from the door, and I'm going to face the door. All right, if, if you can, my friend and I, are, we're facing two opposite directions. Is there any way that you can come up and touch my friend on the back? Come through this door right here and touch him on the back? Or make a noise of some sort for us? I'm going to give you plenty of space right here to come through and just come up and touch him on the back. I'm, I'm My camera's facing him. Maybe pull his, pull his hoodie or his shirt that he's wearing technically. Dylan, if something were to pull your hoodie, I'm pretty sure I'd pee. <laughs> Oh! Damn it, sorry, sorry. Dylan, if something were to pull your hoodie, I'm pretty sure I'd pee. Yeah. I didn't feel like oh! oh! Sorry, sorry. There's a noise down here. Grab the camera, grab the camera, grab the camera. Okay, 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 okay. Now I'll turn this off. Turn my phone off. Oh shit, that got dark real quick. Hang on, let me turn my light on for this. Oh gosh. That bucket was, was that bucket like that? Yeah, yeah, that bucket was like that. Can you make another noise for us, please?
that's water dripping to that. That's what I heard out here. When I was up there and I kept hearing something, I guarantee you that's what, yeah, dude, that's, yup. That makes sense. That makes sense now. But what the f was that noise down here? I thought this damn door slammed. I, that's literally what I thought it sounded Hang on a second, hang on a second. Hold this. Bingo. That's what it was. Bingo. <laughs> Dude, I got chills. I got chills. Can you move that door for us? <laughs> that bitch shuts oh, up. Oh, bitch. Dude, that thing would have slipped close up here right now. Can you please shut that door? Okay, I'll smile. I want to get weird. I don't think he has the energy to shut it anyway. I'm gonna. Do you want to try pissing on the seat the door? I don't think you can shut the door. Yeah, I don't think you can shut the door. I don't think you have that kind of energy. Let's say that door somehow, there's no way it would have closed between the time that I got in there and it's pulled back open. Right? No. So let me try something. Should I make my step in there? Let me just see. So it had to, there's no way. Okay, this is, might be the dumbest thing that we have ever tried. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna introduce ourselves. And uh, I think this um, might be the stupidest thing ever. My name's CJ. You gonna introduce yourself? You look a little <laughs> nervous, Dylan. My name is Dylan. And uh, we would like you to maybe come out and uh, possibly uh, open that door. Hello, can you open that door for us? There's something. Oh, it's moving. All right, can you can you just could you please? There's an energy up there. Can you please? Knock on the door, maybe, or open the door, maybe close the door harder. If that was you that opened the door or slammed whatever. I feel like somebody's gonna put me in an institution at some point. I'm talking to a door. <laughs> Bro. Hey, if you're going to an institution, I'll be your like roommate. We'll be right next door, so. I'm, I'm freezing right now. Let me yeah. see that Oh, I apologize that the camera's getting crooked. I was trying to hold like three things yeah, at once. Like, wow. yeah. <laughs> All right, are you up? Ah! Ah! No, no, mother Oh, I There's no way. Who was that? Was that you?
Stay. Stay or stay. I think it said stay. Stay? Stay. You want me to stay right here? What happens if I go up in that room? What did I just say? I don't know. Well, what happens if I go up in that room? You're not welcome. You're not dealing with it. It says something. You're not something. I think it said you're not welcome. I'm not what? Welcome. I'm not welcome? Did that make you mad at them? Did that make you mad? Sound like maybe? What if I get closer up here? Scared. I'm scared. You know I'm scared. Leave, Leave us. us. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm getting horrified. I cannot you believe that just opened. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I just scream like a bitch and I don't even care. I do. I'm like, I don't even care. That, I don't know, dude. Uh, can I get closer to you? Yes or no? Yeah. No? Okay. What if I take a couple more steps? <laughs> Kill myself coming down the steps. Something does not want us up there. I think we pissed it off yelling at the door. I think, uh, yeah. It's like every time I saw him, I was like, go away. What if I come up the steps again? Will you. Can you say my name? My name's CJ. Can you carry your phone in that at the same time? Yeah, I think. What the hell is that? What? Pain in the ass. <laughs> Are you just calling me a pain in the ass? Run. Okay. Yeah. Can you just touch my hood? I, yo, stay right here. Okay, listen. If, go. Our, our, I just forgot our things up there. That device up there. Stay right here. Record everything. Do not take your eyes off that door. Do not take your eyes off. I'm coming back up there to get my device, okay? You're brave. Yeah, you're damn right I'm brave. I'm coming to get my device, okay? That sounded like Velveeta, I swear on my life. That was weird. Acting. Oh, 
Ah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't know what it is. This, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bitch right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you, dude. Like, I'm not trying to be Mr. Macho here. I'm just gonna go in and grab it. I'm just going in and grab it. Okay, I'm gonna come grab my device now. I do not mean any harm. Please do not f*** with me. What the room is this? Oh gosh, oh man, we got cases too. Hang on. Please do not screw with me. I'm gonna turn this device off. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. All right. I'm gonna put my phone away now that I got my camera. Oh shit. Please turn on my light, please turn on my light. Okay. What the hell? Dylan, my camera light just keeps going off. Your camera light's turning off? It's turning off on its own. I, it must have a dead battery, I don't know. Oh my gosh, how the hell am I gonna carry all this? This is stupid. Okay, hang on, I gotta, I gotta make a trip down. If this door closes on me, I'm gonna shit. I don't know. This one should have been too. Hang on. Leave that right there. All right. Let's put that right there. Let's put this right here. Okay, I'm gonna just run up and grab this other case. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. I'm going home all the way back to Delaware as that door slams. I don't know why I'm such a chicken. That was nuts. Can we? I, did that? I'm gonna go to the portal. I'm kidding. I don't wanna go back up there. I say, let's just, I got 15 minutes of battery. Let's just go change batteries. And if you feel so fancy, they come back to the portal. Oh my gosh, this one's got four minutes. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do that. I don't even know if I'm gonna go back up there now, but let's just, let's, I mean, let's go regroup. Let's just, let's just grab our stuff. Yeah. Keep recording because I'm scared shitless right Damn now. Right, right. So, <laughs> you that. All right. All right. I'm carrying this device here. This and that. Okay. I'm gonna go. All right. Oh shit. All right. Wait, wait. I'm in the room right now. This door. Yeah. Without your light, you're scared. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, there's no, no way. Come out. This is stupid. Come out. This is Actually, I don't know. It's not as difficult. Okay. But how much battery do you have? 14 minutes. Okay. You cannot run like a bunch of pansies every time. Okay? Alright. Let me have your camera. Record on your phone. Record on your phone. Stay right here at the door. Stay right here at the door. Don't. Was that you? Was that you? What's up, man? Was that you? What? Died in there? No. Did something just fall? I don't think so. You sure? Like a liar. Then what the hell was that? It might have been you. Hey, take a, take like a, take a heavy step. Okay, that might have been it. I don't know. Stay right here at the door. Go like over that way so that way you can, if this door closes on you, you do whatever you have to do. I don't care if you get a Slim Jim or what, it's 
fire extinguisher you break in this fucking thing. Oh, gosh. Dylan, I almost like feel, I almost think there's like energy right in here or something. I don't know what the hell it is. You good? Yeah. There's a bunch of lockers. I don't know why the hell it freaks me out, but it does. Lockers? Yeah, there's like a shitload of lockers. Why is this thing zoomed in? Oh, it was only zoomed in a little bit. I got 11 minutes left on, on my battery. So I don't know exactly where portal is but if it's in here and this is like something that's just really trying to fuck with us right now it's definitely doing it damn dylan there's a watch in here bro there's a what there's like a watch hang on i'm recording it right now i had to have been there the whole time maybe i don't know all right for any of the spirits that are in here right now i just want to let you know that i mean no harm, no disrespect whatsoever. Thank you for, for coming out and, 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 and showing us you're here tonight. You're not allowed to follow me or my friend Dylan home. I wish you nothing but the best. I don't know what that was. Can we agree just to get out of here now? Yeah. Let's say bye. Yeah. Literally say bye. Bye. Thank you. Please do not attach yourself to me or CJ or any of our equipment. Dude, that takes some force. Like, that's dude, not bullshit, bullshit, dude. Let me try something. But if that takes. Terrifying. If that takes force. That sounds like me just coming off and just lightly going like this. No. Like that takes like. Okay, let's just. Okay, I get it. You're pissing it the f off. Let's get out of here.